Netanyahu under pressure as 21 IDF soldiers killed while setting explosives in Gaza homes. This post received a score of 3,200, with an upvote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Bibi faced domestic criticism for about 10 years now. I don't understand why people think it's anything special. The only difference is that now also his fanatics won't vote to him. Greater than the only difference is that now also his fanatics won't vote to him. Bullshit. They'll vote for him no matter what, his supporters do not care about recent events any more than they cared about what the judicial reforms looked like. We'll wait and see. I know some Bibi fanatics that won't vote him, but I guess that only the future will tell us. I think the thing to remember is that a lot of time has passed between October and now, that was Bibi's entire strategy. Had something forced him out of office then, the anger and frustration everyone felt would have definitely meant a lot of folks passing on giving the guy their support. But now that it's three months on, and the war's been an outlet for a lot of that, it means his supporters can take stock of what Bibi's delivered for them. Come election time when he's got the opportunity to fear monger and throw red meat to the base, they'll come back his way. Over three months later, anyone I talk to on the street, cafe, at work, even my own oldest family members who vote liquid since Manahem begin, all of them are saying that Bibi is done for it. That's a weird headline because it has no connection to BS. Bibi is under big pressure. But this has nothing to do with the 21 soldiers dying. You don't walk next to a tank with reactive armor and you damn sure don't put them next to buildings like that. It was stupid on their part and someone on the other side may have recognized the opportunity that mistake presented or just a lucky coincidence it blew. Lucky probably sounds bad but can't think of a better description. Contrary to popular belief on Reddit, the majority of Israel is pressuring the government to not stop until Hamas is defeated for good. It's not? Bibi prolonging the war to stay in power? Both are true. There is pressure for the war to continue, and for Netanyahu and co. To leave and let someone else lead the country while it continues. Yes, both are true. I think Bibi genuinely only has the lifespan of this war, which incentivizes a long, protracted war. If that's not a conflict of interest, I don't know what is. We are not the USA that can have a war overseas for 20 years and live normally. Every aspect of Israeli lives are impacted by this war. The economy is suffering and the country is bleeding money on this costly war. What's going on now is not, Netanyahu is prolonging the war, but the war hasn't yet achieved its goals. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.